Right, just a very small video because I'm not stopping here long. I've just had a banana, a bar of chocolate and my black currant juice. I thought I could do with the glucose boost. Um, I've just been sitting in the shade for a little while. Um, so this is the church of St Michael. It did chime one chime at half past 11 a minute ago. Um, I don't know if it's still got those lovely bells it used to play. When it comes to 12, there'll be... It wasn't just the chiming, there were some other sort of bells it used to play. And anyway, there's the old cross. There's my the seat where I'm sat, having a little rest. I don't feel tired, actually. Um, it took two hours from the time I got off the bus for a slow, and very slow, gentle walk across the fields, following the track. No cows, got no trains at the time. Um, the church is still closed because of the COVID and they're not easing up on all the restrictions um, until July now, apparently because it's a bit rampant, this new strain. I uh, can't remember which strain it is. It's, they did call it the Indian type, but um, they decided that was... Um, it could be Delta. It could be called the Delta virus. I'm not quite sure actually. Um, there's Del Delta, Alpha, Beta, all those. They're all given different names now so that a, c a certain country doesn't feel discriminated against. But anyway, I've seen the signs. They haven't opened. That's um, St. Andrew and Compton Bishop was open. St. James the Great at Winscombe wasn't open. So some seem to be doing it, some aren't. I was surprised when Puxton was shut because I've never known that shut. Um, a lot of these churches were here when the last plagues were here, for, you know. So um, I'm going to be making my way up there in a minute. Two young ladies have just gone past me giggling and laughing. Um, up there, obviously going to climb up the top and have a look and maybe a picnic. Um, because there is another path just down there that you can follow up round. I haven't done that one since I was about 14, I didn't think that particular one. Anyway, so it's I'm going on about quarter to 12 now. Um, I'm going to make my way up. And we just go from there, we just go from there and take lots of pictures, over and out. Okay, so I've just come through the gate. There's the church. Bye bye St Michael. Don't know when I'll be back again. You might have to wait another couple of years. Unless I do it in reverse, which I'll see you then. But it probably, I don't know if it'll be this year. Could be in the autumn. Imagine when all this cow parsley was dead white along here, you know. Brilliant white, I should say. Yeah, it's a, it's a gentle climb up. Well, it's not gentle actually. It's quite steep and strenuous. So, but we have got bushes. Keep away from the hogweed. Don't let it touch you. Like I said, at the weekends, this is famous. This is popular with um, <clears throat> this is popular with um, families over now and you take a picture of that scene there right we've just missed the bells of St Michael but I wouldn't have picked them up because there was a wind blowing as they started to chime and it, it was faint so I didn't bother but um, I've been taking some pictures of the different views. I'm just saying how normally um, when I do this hike, I, uh, it starts over at Barrow Church, which is right over there. I get off the bus at Barrow Church right over there, look. I'll just zoom in. And then I have to walk 
There's the golf course by walk along, 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 all the way along. Not quite as far as the lighthouse, but to the garage. So I would have done all that there, plus all what I've just done as well. Oh, there's somebody coming. So i just turn off a minute. Somebody coming. What I'll do, I'll probably let them pass. I'm just going to stroll up here. So I said I missed the bells. So I'm just going to stroll along this bit. It always happens when I'm doing my videos. We used to come up through a field, this field here. We used to come up from the farm over there. And uh, this path and all that in the early days wasn't here. We just used to literally walk straight up, up through the field. And um, we sort of often go down by the farm there. Just zoom in a minute. Yeah, that's well, a few years ago now. I think they put this path in to stop erosion. The, um, the knoll was getting eroded by people, kids on their bikes, going up and down. So they put this path in to stop that happening. Because we, I remember, we used to run from the top. I used to run down. God, it was scary, actually. Because you couldn't really stop yourself. <sighs> More views. More views. Right, over and out for a minute. 